Shazam! In this video, you're gonna learn how to make the Shazam transformation effect in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So to start, you wanna set your camera up on a tripod and then have your actor say Shazam. Then keep the camera rolling and then replace your outfit or your actor and then have them do the same thing. So you can see I've got two tracks here. On the bottom track, I have me shouting Shazam. And then on the top track, I have me doing the same motion, but with my very professional superhero outfit. So on the top track, I'm gonna bring down the opacity and then just line up the motions by hitting the period key to just nudge it along one frame at a time. Now we have them lined up pretty well. So now I'm going to go to where I just finished saying Shazam and bring this down so that it starts there. So now we have me saying Shazam and cutting to the superhero outfit. And finally, let's just bring the end of this so that both clips end at the same spot. Select all, new fusion clip, and go into fusion. So I'm gonna bring my media in one to the viewer. So that's me. So I'm gonna hit F2 and rename that to me. And so the other one will be Shazam. So let's see at what point it switches over. So it looks like frame 35. Now let's add the lightning. I'm gonna add a background. And then after that, add the POC Blitz tool. This is a free plugin you can get on Reactor. It's my favorite way of adding lightning inside of Fusion. But if you don't have it, I have a whole video on how to make lightning inside of Fusion. So in the merge, I'm gonna change the apply mode to screen. And then the Blitz. I'm gonna change the lightning bolt color to white. Turn off the X glow. And then in the branching tab, link all. And then I'm just gonna drag these all the way to the one side. So I'm gonna bring the top somewhere off screen and then the bottom somewhere around my chest. I'm gonna set a keyframe on the stop position, go back two frames, and bring it off screen as well. Now if you go by frame by frame, you'll see there's no lightning on this frame. That's because the phase change is set to 0.2. That means it'll update every other frame. If we bring this all the way down, then it'll update every frame. Then I'm just gonna play with the energy to make it thicker, maybe bring down the energy fall off. Then after that, I'm gonna add an X glow, this is another plugin you can get on Reactor. You wanna bring that to a desaturated blue. Then the merge, I'm just gonna set a keyframe on the blend, go a few frames and bring it down. So now we have me saying Shazam, lightning strikes, and I change. So in the movies, when the lightning strikes, there's this huge flash on the screen. So we can do that by bringing down a background, bring it to white, then merging it over. Then on the background, we can add an ellipse tool. Just soft edge that all the way. Now adjust it so that it's just covering me. Now we can make it look more bright by going into the merge and bringing up the burn in all the way. So in the ellipse, put a keyframe on the width and the height, go one frame forward, and then adjust it so that it fills the whole screen. Then I'm gonna set a keyframe on the level there and go about uh, maybe 10, 12 frames and bring the level all the way down. Then I'm gonna go back to that first frame, set a keyframe on the level, Go back one frame, bring it down. So in the movies, when this effect happens, there is a ton of smoke on screen. So let's add some of that. So let's start with the shockwave asset I got for free on productioncrate.com. They have a ton of really good free smoke assets. That's where I got mine. So I don't really want this little ring in the middle. So I'm gonna add an ellipse mask, bring it down, soft edge it, and then invert it. So now we just have the outer wispy stuff. So I'm gonna merge this over and then set it to screen. Now you can see it's starting on the very first frame of our thing, which is way too soon. So let's go to 35. Then under the media in, we can hit keyframes and then just drag this over until it's at frame 35. So let's add a transform and then adjust this over my chest. We can also play with the aspect so that it covers me a little bit more. Now let's add some more smoke. We can add these smoke impacts that I got from production crate. Now if I merge them together, you can see that it looks like one thing. So this is the back of it, and this is the front. It's this comp in thing Production Crate has so you can put things in between, but we can also just use them separately. So I'm gonna go through the same thing on this one, on the keyframes, bring it to frame 35, merge it over, and set it to screen. Now this one, on the back one, you can see the ground plane, and it's really harsh. So I'm gonna add a rectangle tool, bring it out all the way, and just bring it ever so slightly above the line, and then soft edge it. Then the merge, we can play with the size and the angle, move it around so it looks like it's coming off of me, and then go through the exact same process on the other one. Now the shockwave is looking a bit strong, so we can go into the blend of that merge and just bring it down a little bit so it's a bit more subtle. So you can keep stacking more and more smoke assets until you're happy with the result. If you want to learn more on how to make epic lightning VFX inside of Fusion, then check this video here.